So this is just going to be a test of, whoop, there we go. Come on, there we go. Okay, so this should be a test to see if it's working right. And if it is working right, hello guys, and uh, welcome to Black Yeti Streaming. And by that, I mean it's been a while since I've recorded, and I know it's uh, it's been a really long time. <laughs> yeah, so let's go here. And it looks like due to all the strain, there is some serious lag. I do have the game in the lowest possible streaming quality. Um, I, oh, that one's full, I guess. Uh, I do apologize for that. However, in Shellshock, the graphic quality that you start off with isn't as important as the, um, the, the output quality. And so in order to, you know, create the, the least amount of lag, I have it set up how I do. And it looks like I've been kicked again. Uh, this is what happens when you're too good at the game. People hate you. <laughs> Let's try to go with this 1v1 here. Alright, all right, we're going to join in here, and I'm going to let them know that I'm streaming. What do we want to do here? From this angle, we can hit a lot, so... We don't have an exact lock on him, not that, you know, because there's no wind right now, it shouldn't really matter that much. Um, but I still think we should try to do uh, a semi-direct shot with a flattener. Yeah, see, that, that'll work now, because now we can get a, a pretty good lock on him. Um, also, if you notice, guys, I have it up here in the right side of the screen. Uh, that way, because I usually play on the left, it's just... I don't know, some people get spawned in the right, some people get spawned in the left, but it seems like when I play games, I almost always am on the left. So so in order to not cover up the, the map too much and let you guys see all of the important stuff going on, uh, I've covered up the live, the friends, and the microphone up here in the right, and with the face cam, that way it's kind of out of the way, but still there. Um, I could try for a rain, but I'm afraid that most of them will hit that barrier. So we're going to go with a cactus strike. And a lot of these are going to hit the barrier too, but I think they're going to redirect them on them. Yep. There we go, that bumper shot. Now we're actually hurting really bad right now. We got 165 health to his 202 if you count the armor. So. Yeah, he could easily uh, crit us for 100 right now and leave us at 65, and then we'd be dead in two turns. Now, that wasn't too bad. We only got dealt one, 109 uh, left, but still, that's we're really, really hurting, so we need to do something here, and I think this minimum is 40, so we're going to go with that. No, it's 35. Um, but still... 35 is better than nothing. He's at 167 and we're at 109. As long as we can drop him to about 120 next turn and we stay... Yep. Okay. So as long as we can drop him uh, below 100 now, we should be able to, to do some serious damage. And I'm going to try to get that shrapnel. And it's going to miss. This is going to hurt. Okay. It missed us. I was trying to get it up there in that little crevice so it'd be underneath him when it exploded. Because uh, if you can get a, a shrapnel underneath someone, it's the best way to do some serious damage. I know when we were playing, uh, what was it? We were playing a game mode before. It wasn't Jug. It was, I think it was Shocker. We found out that getting them underneath the ball, too, the initial explosion sends the ball up into the air, and then the shrapnel can actually carry it to the goal. So we were creating all kinds of little things like that that you could do. Um... There's not much I can do here, so I think I'm just going to take it like a man and then hit him with the M4. And, yep, okay, and then I'll die this turn and we'll go to round two.
Is he going to attack? What's going on? Uh, nope, there he goes. Okay. Yep, he was just getting his out too. I think he used the MP. And then as always, you always tell your friends GG when you're playing. We upgraded to the Megapixel. And I, yeah, as you can see, um, I understand this is only like my second upload video, but I do play this a lot in my off time as well. So I have some significant background and skill. Uh, I'm part of a clan. I'm the clan leader. Level 67. Got most of the maps and everything else unlocked. Yeah, okay. We're kind of screwed here with our placement. But... Yeah, there is no but. We're kind of screwed here with our placement. <laughs> um... Asked him if he has an earthquake. It's, uh... It was really bad. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I've ever been on this map before, but this is horrible. Like, this, this would be a great game for Jug, because when you're playing Juggernaut, and you got five people with 50 health, and one person with over 3,000 health, plus their, like, 400, you know, whatever else, shield. It's just not generally a good time. Let's see if we can't get this to... Oh. Nope, and then all of them went away. What the hell? Ah. Uh. Well, that's been demonetized. I just realized that I swore. I don't even understand why YouTube considers hell a bad word. It's it's literally a grammatical word used to describe a place that you go after death depending upon the sins and virtues of yourself in your current living life. I know that sounds complex, but basically, if you're not an a-hole your life, you ain't going there. But it's an actual place. It's a word to describe a place. You know, but when I say actual place, I don't mean that in any way that I do or don't believe in a particular religion. Um... I was just saying, like, it's that's what it's used to describe, so... Yeah, let's see. I doubt it, but... Oh, wow. Okay. I did not expect it to go that far. I honestly expected it to end right about uh, where that purple barrier is at the top. I expected it to end right there at the bottom and cut short, but... Um... Yeah, so I guess I should answer a couple questions about why I've been away. Um, currently dealing with some student loan debt, uh, so I've been paying that off, and I'm also living with some roommates at the moment, so I haven't really had a chance to stream. Now that aside, I've also, uh, I have, I don't know if you, I mean obviously you guys can't straight see it, but right here on my laptop, there's a gash where there is a cut, and I can see through it, it's not like it completely screwed it up, but... I do need to repair the screen at some point, and the operating system itself had to be completely wiped out and restarted on this. I'm running on an Alien 14, Alienware 14 kit, and so uh, there we go. But um, and so for a while. Oh no, no, please. Okay, thank God. I'm like that's gonna hurt. It's like 60 plus crit. Um. Yeah, so I had to I had to get around to actually fixing my laptop and getting it running. Nice shot. GG. Um, yeah, so between student loans, living with friends, um, getting the laptop prepared, and then just my general, I don't even want to call it laziness, but my lack of motivation to record lately um, has kind of prevented me from doing a whole lot. Oh, come on. Oh, damn it. You know, fuck it. We're going to swear on this because it's already demonetized, so I don't give a fuck anymore. Um, I'll just set it to adult content. I don't, I don't give a shit. Um, <laughs> yeah, between all of that, and then I'm also moving uh, down, with, down to family to live uh, to help them out financially and get them up off the ground again. Uh, they're having some money troubles, and my, my two cousins are just in a... Uh, a minor car wreck uh, a few days ago. They're all fine, but the car's totaled. And, I mean, they've already been having financial problems, so that's that's going to hit like a truck. So, I mean, I'm moving down there in hopes to... Close enough, you know. Uh, but I'm moving down there in hopes to kind of move in, help out, get things paid for, and get them back up off their feet, as well as just a change of scenery. 
Um, it's not like I'm moving down there temporarily. No, this is actually a permanent move. I'm going to be, uh, from now on, I'm going to be living in Alabama. Um, and I don't know if any of you guys are from Alabama or, you know, surrounding areas. Uh, but there's places called Dothan, uh, there's Dalesville, there's Enterprise. They're all, like, military towns in a sense, but that doesn't mean that they're, you know, covered in military. It just means that that's kind of what they were originally for. if that works. I think we're going through a portal, though. Yep. Woo, buddy. Hell yeah. Making up for lost time. Look at that. 100 damage and that 5 extra XP. And we're dead if he hits this. That is a mega rainbow. And, oh, wow. Okay, he didn't hit us with all of it. Thank God. Um... I'm gonna try something here. I'm going to go down three, back two, down one more, back one more. And we're going to see if this arrow and this bow work. I'm hoping this locks onto them. It does not. So close. Now, again, that was just a, a spitball judging by, you know, my eyes. But, oh, here comes the putty. Putty, putty, putty. Oh, fuck. Okay. So, GG. Um... That's we're zero and two right now. It's been a while. It's been a little bit since I played. By a little bit, I mean it's been a few days. <laughs> I do play this regularly, so I I am I'm not salty per se, but I am. It's getting there. It's getting to me a little bit that I'm doing this bad. Um, it might be just the fact that I haven't recorded in a while too. I might you know be subconsciously nervous about that. Uh, but as always, I try to be pretty open with you guys about everything. Uh, see, here's some new weapons I've gotten. I, I just recently upgraded to the second level of the V. I got the Flying V. Um, I just recently got the third level for the 11 ball. And I have the second bounder unlocked, but I don't have it in my list right here. Um, yeah, I have the Sub Sniper, and I'm at the Volcano. So those are, those are the new weapons. Those are the overly new weapons. And we're just going to go for the guaranteed hit here, and we're going to bounder up out of the map, and it's going to come down right there perfectly. Oh, wow! I have never seen a bounder miss. Oh, Jesus. Wow. And this is one of the reasons why I love this game here. Is you can you can uh, mix. There's some people that are assholes. There's some people that are you know nerds. There's some people that it doesn't really matter because everyone's all behind this game, and you have that personality where everyone's either competitive or they're playing casually. But at the same time, no matter if you're playing competitive or casually, you always have those people who are like, oh man, check out that skill. Do you see that shot? And everyone's like, yeah, man, I saw it. It was great. And there's this like line of respect that gets drawn. Um, and it's one of the like one of the best things about this game, I think, is just that that line of respect. Um, I am gonna kind of cheatsy a little bit here and hit that corner so that I can bouquet him. Um, which yeah, I could have done more damage, could have had a possibility of like 65 plus crit, but I didn't have a direct shot and I didn't want to chance it with that weapon up into the air, so I hit him there. And I, I know I often ramble when I get off topic and stuff, and I hope you guys don't really mind that. But I try to be as real with you guys as I can, and the realest me possible is this. Um, I ramble, I talk about random things, sometimes I'll start on one topic and end up on another. Um, but as for game mode right now, we're going to try for that snipe. We got it, there's 64 damage. Um, currently, he has 164 and one, we're at 116, so this is a pretty close game. Uh, it can easily end, though, if he gets this crit, and he's also, I guess he's going for that box as well, so he's probably going to land it in front of me in hopes that it does damage. Yep, he landed it directly in front of me. Oh, there it is. He got that 30 crit, so we're at 56 now. Um, we do not have a direct shot, so we're going to get a little bit closer, which hopefully it'll strip his shot too, but it'll also make it a pretty easy shot for him. Um... And we're going to go for that minions. And this will hurt us a little bit too, but it's guaranteed to hit him for at least 20. So probably not the, you know, the absolute smartest one, but I go for what's a guaranteed shot. And 
Yeah, as it looks like he's either going to hit me with electric. Yup, or that. He black holed me. What a douchebag. And by yeah, I don't mean that in the sense that uh, he's a bad guy or a bad player. I absolutely mean that in the sense that I am salty as fuck right now. <laughs> That's uh, it's like when you join a game and you're level one and you know you ever played like uh, any of those survival games, right? And you're 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 naked running around surviving and shit, and someone comes up in full armor and just shoots you dead and steals your shit. That's that's the type of salty I am right now. That's what he just did. It's one of those weapons. Um, now it looks like he's gonna get to go first again here. Uh, luckily, I have a rip saw, which should do 40 to 60 damage. It's the upgrade of the original saw, and there goes my armor. Holy fuck! Um, let me let me rethink about this then, because uh, he's doing some serious damage right off the bat. Hmm. Yeah, I don't really have any guarantee. A lot of these will hit, but not do much. So we're going to ripsaw him for 35. And here's my thinking behind that. Bounce explodes, they'll bounce all over the place, and they have a chance of coming back and just killing us. Double palm goes up in the air and spreads into four little pieces that are about uh, a centimeter or two apart, which means only one to two of them will hit them. Just 25 to 35 damage. Beacon actually has to land and sit there. Oh, and he quit. Oh, no, please. Um, but it actually has to land and sit there for a little bit for it to do any damage. Uh, because once it sits there, it creates this kind of invisible barrier at the top. And let's go in here and let's do free-for-all deathmatch. Four players. Wind. We're going to do high wind. Shot type. No. No, we'll do all. It's less XP, but people get irritated when you do that. Max difficulty. Any... And that's that's the level. The max difficulty is the maximum difference in player levels that people can count. So there you go. See, so you have 70s and 78s. And since we're doing free-for-all, let's do three here. We can just do a uh, 1v1v1. And let's see what happens. Also, I will add that I am a bit paranoid since I'm using new software that this might not be streaming. Um, but we're going to try and we're going to see what happens. And so since I don't really have a direct shot in him, I'm going to try to area shot the other guy. And perfect. And by perfect, I mean meh. <laughs> Oh wow, his came back to him. Okay. So now we're gonna kinda cheat see doodle. He you think he's close enough that I can hit him with this? If so, it'll be just the tip of the dagger. Yes! And there is that 80 damage. Now we are hurting. We are very much hurting because he has 65 and 200 here. And so we're gonna go all the way down here to kinda screw up their angles. And here we go. Since he decided to get it right on top of us, um, we're going to try to give Zrekt here the win by setting us at 90 perfectly. And we're going to dig us into the ground. Now that might have actually just saved our lives because we're still at 126 and the wind kind of helped us there. Damn, okay, he's really intent on being right here. So, what we're going to do here is we are going to hit this right beside us and it's going to go through us and damage us both. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, GG! Oh, Christ! Hell almighty! Oh, wow. That was brutal. So let's go into here and let's try to do 
Let's do assassin. We're gonna do free for all. Four players. No wind. Shot type single. And we're gonna do one weapon. That'll put us at 278. So let's do 2v2. Don't judge me. I know I messed it up. So, yeah. Um, I guess my daily comment for you guys, as I've been trying to add them in on my podcast a lot, but not so much on my regular videos, is uh, what is it would you... I, okay, let me rephrase that. What exactly would you like to see out of this channel? Would you like us to continue to do a little bit of everything? A little bit of vlogs, a little bit of podcasts, a little bit of gaming commentary, a little bit of uh, the travel stuff when I'm traveling... Or would you li like us to uh, specify, to like go into a specific category, like only do commentary from now on with the occasional blog, or uh, something along those lines. Or even better, uh, do you have a particular game on Steam, or otherwise a computer game, uh, that you, you would enjoy? Okay, so I got a driller, that target right there. Um, but do you have a particular game in mind that you would like to see me play? Um, I can't promise that I'll do a lot a lot of live streams as I'm still trying to get used to this software, the newer ones, but I have been using uh, uh, DaVinci, yeah, DaVinci Resolve, sorry for that, having to look at the screen there, but it's, uh, I have been using DaVinci Resolve a lot, and nailed it, not really, but I hit him for damage, so that's good. Oh fuck! <laughs> Someone, yeah, he's. Someone's gonna two x me. Um, but I've been using DaVinci Resolve, and I've been using uh, Fruity Loops for audio, and on top of that, I've been using OBS for the live stream itself. And so, what I'll do after I have OBS all done and recorded and finalized into a video, I'll put it through uh, Resolve, and I'll put those edits in. I'll get those, you know, cuts in. I'll get those splicing. I'll put the effects in. I'll get the fades, the transitions. Uh, mess around with the audio a little bit, get everything all crisp, clear, and mess with the color and everything. And then, as soon as all that's done, I'll put it into Fruity Loops. I'll strip the audio from it and put just the audio in Fruity Loops. And then I'll edit all that out. And once that's done, then, and only then, will I mix the audio and get the audio all fucking uh, great and good to go. Woo! 70 damage. Um, and then I'll add them back together and I'll put the audio, put it back to resolve and put the audio underneath of the video and I'll format that to the YouTube settings and then send it to YouTube and that's how I've been getting these like fantastically great uh, quality uh, unlike some of my previous videos which are using Windows Movie Maker um, Joe Schmo it's not an actual name but J Joe Schmo desktop recording software I mean you get it I've been using third-party everything for a long time, and I thought it was time to finally upgrade and start getting everything done properly. Um, you know, when you first start on a YouTube, you want to get a lot of quantity. Uh, but uh, as you progress, you start getting uh, more and more quality that you want. There we go. Woo! There goes that. Okay. So we're at 130 and he's at 151, so we're hurting really bad now. But Sirius looks to be the one that's hitting us, whereas Dragonic is trying to hit uh, Freeze, which means it's Freeze versus... I'm guessing Dragonic versus Freeze, Freeze versus Sirius, Sirius versus me, and me versus Dragonic. If that makes sense, the crosshairs, so that everyone's fighting everyone. Um, yeah, so uh, here's my questions for you guys. What games would you like to see in the future? Um, what would you like to see me continue to do on the channel? And do you guys have a preference on uploads? Uh, I've been kind of uploading sporadically now, and at one point I did have a schedule, but my schedule, again, was uh, decently sporadic. So those are my questions for you, and I am really bad with a 3D bomb, but we're going to try this. Zero XP. All right. So we did no damage, and we're fucked. We're dead now. <laughs> Um, 
Don't mind me here while they're shooting here. I am going to check my messages. I do have some missed calls. Um, just some family stuff that doesn't matter. I know it's a little unprofessional. And so I do have that. Just checking how that is. I'm going to set that aside. And it will not be important until I am done with this video because you guys come first. Everything else comes second. Um, and I mean, you do kind of have to do that when you're recording a lot. You have to plan out who gets what amount of your time and when, but to be quite specific, let's try to hit this box and then that 2x damage to try to hit Dragonic. Nope, but we hit that box and that box gave us at least five, five box, but that's gonna, yeah, it's gonna give us five armor, that's, but that's nothing, we're at 25 and we're dead this round, we're dead. Um, but yeah, you do have to kind of plan it out a little bit, you know, when you can hang out with your friends, when you got to sit down and record for your second family, because that's what you guys are to me. You guys are my second family. You're my community. You have what uh, we have all worked together to help to build. Um, and that's why I asked you all these really important questions. What do you want to see? Uh, when do you want to see it? Is there anything in particular? That makes me really salty, by the way. <laughs> Said that a couple times. Uh, let's quote that as being my favorite word of this week. It'll change probably in 10 minutes um but i uh but on that note there is a couple games i would like to start playing on my channel that i've never played before on the channel but i have touched base before uh i would like to play uh subnautica on this channel i love subnautica i've gotten in and i've messed around with it a little bit i've played developer mode as well as you know and by developer i mean creative but i've played the experimental mode i've played the the regular mode and I want to get in and I want to play that with you guys and just see how that goes. Um, I would, as soon as I have the ability to, I'm going to purchase Prey and I want to start playing Prey on the channel. Um, I want to play some Gmod. I got a bunch of my friends that have been nagging me to get the Gmod so that it can be put on the channel. Not just, not just because it's a super popular game, but because it's something that all of my uh, actual friends can do as well as my YouTube friends. And I do have to kind of separate them because as you'll see on my channel, um, let me collect this real quick. I, I do have, like, Omega and Lala and, you know, a bunch of other people. And, of course, I'm known as Black Yeti on YouTube. Um, but, but to be specific, Omega, I met him when I was in college going for multimedia video. Um, we, we got together. We made a couple of videos together. So I, speak, I featured him on my channel. Since then, we haven't really done much collaboration. But I always show love to those who deserve it. And let me tell you, he's a great individual. Uh, he's really down to earth. He's helped me out a little bit in my videos. We've talked bullshit. Good guy. Um, Lala, Devil Luke, and I believe it's underscore now. I think it was changed due to some sort of copyright issue. Uh, big anime fan. I'm also an anime fan. Uh, I wouldn't say I'm a big one because obviously if I get into you know a conversation with any real fan, I'm going to be like, I haven't heard or even seen a half of those. That doesn't mean that I also only watch the super popular um, because that's not true either. Actually, uh, I'd say it's about 50-50. Some of them I watch are super popular, but then some of the super popular ones I've never even heard of. Like, uh, Death Note. I know, I'm guilty, everyone loves it, but I've never seen Death Note. Not a single episode, not a single skit, anything. Um, wow, that nuke. He missed completely, but that nuke. Um... I did, however, see, like, uh, Another, which is a great, you know, uh, I, I wouldn't consider it a horror anime. It's more of a slasher-type anime where it's, it, without really even, really, uh, giving away too many spoilers, some stuff happens, it has to do with some folklore, you know, there's some mystery-type elements going on. So I'd say it's like a mystery thriller gore-type one where there is a lot of blood, a lot of death, but, you know, it's, it's more based on the hardcore elements of the story more than anything um so I, I do watch a lot of those i also one of the first uh animes i ever saw and i know everyone hates that i call this an anime code lyoko it was created by the french i know it's not traditional japanese or asian cultured anime but to me that's still an anime it is a different type of animation but it is an anime um Wow, that was horrible. Okay. Uh, but, yeah, it's Code Lyoko was one of the first ones I watched, followed by uh, Koda Koda, 
Spice and Wolf, Rosary plus Vampire, and I know all you guys know what Rosary plus Vampire is. Um, when I was growing up, I didn't have, you know, as we grow up, we kind of define what's, you know, typically something a female would watch, what's typically something a male would watch, and so on. Um, but growing up, I didn't have that. Like, when I was younger, I just watched whatever I thought was interesting, regardless of, you know, whether it was a female lead or a male lead. So, with that being said, I'm also guilty of watching Powerpuff Girls, Sailor Moon, uh, Witch, when it came on. I watched Code the Oak, I watched Power Rangers, I watched... I mean, I was that kid that watched more TV than anything. But at the same time, at a young age, I was that kid that watched, you know, all the, those animes and cartoons... And then, you know, I'd sit there and I'd watch, like, Friday the 13th like it was nothing at, like, 5. Because, it, to me, it wasn't. That's, you know, it's, it's nothing new. Woo! 66 damage. But, um, but yeah, that was me growing up. I, I watched a mix of, like, thriller and horror shows and anime and cartoons. And I know there's some debate on which is which. But here's my, here's my, uh, general... Oh, wow. Okay. He left. What a loser. Um, but here's my general assessment on the situation. I consider any other country's form of animation to be anime. I consider American animation of any kind to be cartoon. And I say cartoon because the style of drawing of animating an object or a picture or graphic or anything that we use most of the time, like 99% of the time in America, is cartoon. It's called cartoonization. So, American anime is called cartoon, whereas any other country is just called anime as a umbrella term. You know, you could consider it French anime, you could consider it uh, Japanese anime, or you know, maybe it has a specific ther term. Like, I know there was uh, one called, like, Kodu or something like that at one point, and it was a, like, uh, Japanese comic. Like, you know how Teen Titans sometimes has the pages where it flips and it's all comic book and, you know, Sin City style black and white? It's like that, but still anime. And so, yeah, there's all kinds of different terms, but love anime. Um, but yeah, uh, Lala is my friend Matt. I know him in real life. I've known him since high school. Uh, actually, a little bit further than that, that. We've known each other since we were both about eight or nine, I'd say. But we kind of lost touch until high school and then kind of refound each other again. Um, there's my buddy Harry Herlick, who um, I hate saying it like this, but there's no other way to say it because I am by no means a super intelligent person. I am no better than anyone else. I always have my dumb days and I have my good days and I have things that I'm good at and everyone else does too. But with that in mind, the only way to explain it is he, he is on the same intelligence level conversation wise that I am we both get into these highly philosophical deep uh, conversations about life it, all of its mysteries and glories and everything else uh, even TV shows we'll dissect TV shows something will strike up a conversation and we're just like yeah but you know I understand why they did it this way because naturally people scientifically act this way and so in order to create this response in the brain I mean, you get the idea. We have these deep conversations. So he's probably one of my closest friends, him and Matt are, followed by my buddy John and I'd say my buddy Cody. I do have some other friends like Robert and uh, uh, Monique and a bunch of other people, you know, uh, and as well as some family friends I don't really see too often. Um, but those are not people I consider myself to be great friends, best friends, close friends. They are friends. They're more than acquaintances. But they're not to the same level as, like, uh, Harry, Matt, and Cody, and John. Because those are my main group. Those are my, yeah, for all intents and purposes, that's my main posse. That's who I roll with all the time. Uh, I hate to use that modern-day lingo like that, but uh, it's pretty accurate. Th those are the people I know. Those are the people I talk to. Those are the people I can confide in for any situation, no matter what it is. Um... That's going to suck. I was hoping it would bounce down again, but, um, so I love to start recording with them, and I'd love to start finding games to do it. Now, most of, uh, my friends, my close friends like that, they have PCs, and the ones that don't, 
none of us have the same systems. At one point, I had an Xbox One, Xbox 360, Xbox 360, GameCube, uh, Wii, Wii U, DS, DSi, 3DS. I had all these. N64, even. I had the N64 and the Atari, the original. I had a Dreamcast, too. Um, but currently... Currently, I have my computer, and I have a first-generation 360. So... I'm kind of limited in that regard on what I can do, and most of my friends, either one of them has a PS4 and doesn't have an Xbox One or vice versa. So, all of us, mostly at least, all of, like three out of five of my friends have computers. So what I'd like to do is start finding some computer games, some Steam games, some stuff on Humble Bumble. If you don't know what it is, check it out. Not sponsored, but it's a great site. You can kind of pay what you want while helping charity. You know, uh, all you gotta do is it's a competitive thing. You go, let's say someone puts a dollar in, then you have to put a dollar and one cent in to beat his store in order to unlock everything, but then you can download like 12 to 20 games. And they're not, you know, like, they're not just indie games or just bad games either. They are fantastically done. Some of them are stuff like Subnautica, Rust, Soma, you know, great, fantastic games. Um,. So, so yeah, uh, check out HumbleBumble.com, uh, uh, sorry, HumbleBundle.com, uh, H-U-M-B-L-E-B-U-N-D-L-E.com, and ch give it a check out, uh, they always have new stuff, um, another one is G2A.com, a lot more people know about that, but you can buy uh, Steam cards on there, you can buy games for as low as like $7, you know, $3 even, and I'm talking major games, like $60 games in stores, you can get for like 6 $7 there. So, fantastic to give it a try and check out. Um, wow, only 10 damage, really? And that guy is stacking up boxes over there, let me tell you. <laughs> but um but yeah so check those out give them a look uh not in any way sponsored but yeah so there's a lot going on with my channel i'll, I'll be moving here soon i have so here we go let me get this in here real quick there we go Only 36, but it's something. I got 45 right now, so it's not too bad. He's got uh, 50, so he's only about five ahead of me. But it easily means that you know he could kill me in an instant. Um, yeah, so there's just a bunch of a lot of, a lot of stuff going on. I'm not trying to sound like I'm making excuses, although for 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 all purposes, that's what they are. They're excuses because there's no other way to call them anything else. Um, but I'll call them reasons right now, why I've been away, uh, why my schedule's changed, why I'm asking these questions, why things are going on. It's, it, it's me trying to, to best figure out how to go about this. Um, as well as, you guys probably don't care, but we got a bill here soon. Uh, actually tomorrow by 8 a.m. our electric gets shut off if we don't pay it. Um, so I'm going to try my damnedest to get that done and well, if that's paid off I'll be streaming again tomorrow I'll probably do a live stream um, I go a lot through uh, like the game for kids type things GG um, oh, sorry I just I completely forgot what it was called and it's gonna really bother me uh, Extra Life, that's what it was. I go a lot through Extra Life, um, because not to get too into the sentimental, sad, depressive topics, but when I was younger, I was in a car crash, and I went to a children's hospital. They took fantastic care of my entire family. Um, I did end up losing, losing my cousin in that crash, one of the saddest moments of my life. Uh, it still hits me hard every once in a while, but with that being said... With that being said, they did a fantastic job, and so it's my way of giving back to the hospital, because 
it goes to any of the connected hospitals that are on that uh, chain, and I don't remember what the chain's called, but it, you got tech, it's like every state has is part of this chain. So, like, any of the UPMCs, any of, like, the Texas Children's Hospitals or, you know, Pennsylvania Administrative Hospital. Um, so it's my way of giving back, and I always love doing that because you can donate to the kids, you can donate during the live stream, and it's completely non-profit. Aside from ten cents off of every dollar that is used to pay for uh, the cost of sending the money away to the hospital, that's it. Um... Every every you know, 90 cents out of every dollar that you send goes directly to these children. It goes directly to help cancer patients, um, people with you know some you know pretty bad diseases and a pretty tough spot. So I love helping out like that. Okay, well that sucked. Um, but yeah. Just as a, a general reminder to myself that, um, you know, I'm still human, you know. Uh, oftentimes I sit here and I'm recording and I have so much control over how you guys see me, uh, how I edit videos, the jokes that I put in, what I keep in, what you guys take from this. And it doesn't necessarily give me a god complex, but it definitely gives me a major control over me so I can make me the best me that you know I want to I want you to see and to, to a degree that makes me kind of less than human and so uh, doing those live streams kind of helps me remind myself that I'm still human while also reminding everyone in the, the chat that I do care about you guys I do care about um, I do care about the community we've made and um, I don't, I don't normally get like uh, get like this, but yeah, I'm not generally an emotional person. But yeah, it's I, I do care. I do care about you guys. I care about everything that we've built together. I care about what you guys want to see, what you guys don't want to see. Um, I don't know where to go with that, but yeah, that's. So I, I often do that to, to show myself and to show you guys that side. But uh, uh, on another topic, just to kind of get off of the, the sad stuff, um, I will start, uh, uh, whenever you guys get back to me on this, whenever I sit down and think about it, whenever I plan everything out, it's going to be hell, it's going to be hectic, these these couple... Wow, okay, so he's going to get that because it didn't give it to me. But it's gonna, it's going to be weird for a while. But once everything gets settled, once I'm moved in down there, I'll be recording daily. Every day. No, it fell. Oh. Oh, the horror. The sadness. I missed the crate and the shot. Oh, God. Um. Oh, and he had a zipper cluster, too. What the hell? Ah, uh, this game's rigged. Uh, <laughs> That's ridiculous. There goes all my armor. God damn. 46 damage. Holy shit. And if you 2x that, that's, you know, 90 something. Here, let's do it this way, because I think I can hit him from here. I'm going to go right through the mountain. But yeah, it's once everything gets settled, I'll be recording daily. I'll be back to live stream now, doing vlogs. I'll probably get my Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, and all that up and running again. I'm gonna have it linked so everybody from every you know every community that I've ever built and ever been helped with and ever had you guys on. You guys are gonna get that information instantly. You're gonna know. Okay, in one hour he's going live, and you guys are gonna be able to uh, come in there. And I always love. Um, and here, here's what I always say. Okay, if it doesn't matter if you can donate a dollar or a penny. And it doesn't matter if you can't donate anything. And let's say you're too young. Let's say uh, you're, you're broke. You're living on a budget. You don't have enough money. That's fine. Come join the live stream anyway. Because the way that Google Search Analytics works and the way that YouTube Analytics works 
you just being there increases the amount of eyeballs that get seen on you on YouTube and increases YouTube's popularity marker for you bumping it up so more and more people are going to see that stream and so by you simply being there you've allowed it, it to be possible for these other people that can donate to go there and help too and so in a way you're, you've kind of vicariously lived through them and Sometimes that's the second best thing. Sometimes just helping someone else be able to donate is all that it takes. Um, I do oftentimes go through generosity. I go through crowdfunding. I go through uh, GoFundMe. I go through a bunch of different platforms to get stuff off the ground for projects. I haven't in a while because, again, I haven't been streaming. I haven't had that many projects going. Um, but soon I will. Soon I will, and I'll have it nonstop going. And it's going to be fantastic. You guys are going to love what I have in store for you guys. I have been working on a lot of audio, even though I haven't been working on a lot of live streaming. So I got some major audio. I've been talking to some producers. I'm going to get some custom soundtracks that you're going to start hearing in the videos. I got new intros, new outros. I've redone the layout for YouTube. Um, I've gotten just a bunch of everything. I've revamped and redone everything to make it, you know, the best possible experience for you guys. The best everything that's too far it's yeah it's out of the map um I think that's the name of this video yeah that's the name of this video we're gonna name it um we're gonna name it the the how to do it yourself new everything because I have I've talked about you know what I've been doing you know how I've done it um why I've done what I've done and and so forth and so I think the next best thing for me to do uh, after I upload this is to change change the channel around I have a new profile pic I have a new banner redid all that artwork I've laid it out better I've changed the the newcomers versus subscribers the video that they're gonna see right on top um, you're gonna see the newest uploads first if you've been subscribed and you're gonna see the most popular upload first if you are a newcomer um, and so, so that being said, it's set up in a way that, that it's going to get more eyeballs on the channel for us. Our community is going to grow stronger. It's going to grow better. And as we grow and as I grow with you, um, I'm going to have mile markers. You know, we're almost to 20 right now. When we get 20 subscribers, I'm going to do a mile marker video. You know, just hit 20 and then I'm going to, you know, pay my respects to you guys. I'm going to talk to you guys about... Um, all of the things that you guys have done to help every video every moment that you guys have helped with Woo. bumper shot uh, <laughs> wow wow so trolly oh no he's coming inside okay GG oh he didn't he didn't beat me so what we're gonna do here is we're going to Suicide. <laughs> GG. Yeah, we're going to have different mile markers. We're going to have one for 20. We're going to have one for 40. Then we're going to have one for 60. And then after 60, the next mile marker we're going to have is at 100 subscribers. And after 100 subscribers, we're going to have one at 200. And then we're going to have one at 300. Then we're going to have one at 600. We're going to skip 500. And we are going to skip every once in a while there because we're going to the, the biggest, the most major events. Not that you know every one of them isn't as equally important, but we are going to have all of those mile markers. And we might do something special for it. Now let's say, as a mile marker, I decide that I want us to be able to give back to a community. I want us to be able to uh, go and do an extra live stream. I might put it together, I might sponsor it for a while, tell you guys about it, tell you it's coming up, tell you to be watching the channel for it, tweet, tweet it out, uh, post it on my Instagram, Facebook, you know, anywhere that you might follow me, and then after a while, this stream's going to hit, and all these people, all of you guys, all of our communities are going to come together, we're going to watch this, I'm going to, at the start of the video, tell you all of the things that, you know, I appreciate about you guys, all the things I love about you guys, all the help that you guys have done, everything possible that you have done to make this happen. And then I'm going to tell you ways that we can do more, ways that we can keep pressing forward, ways that we can continue to grow. 
And by doing so, one of those things is going to be live streams. Uh, as always, I'm going to have uh, periodic live streams where I will sit down and I'll, I'll tell you straight up. This, this live stream is to help the people that cannot help themselves. There's people in hospitals that need help. There's people, you know, that are veterinarians that need help. And I don't mean veterinarian as in like uh, uh, me messing up a word and me meaning vets. I mean like veterinarians. There's the Veterinarian Foundation for people going through schooling to be vets. We're always going to need vets because we're always going to need more of them helping our animals, helping our wildlife. Some of the vets actually go out of vet school and they go into uh, like forest rangers and stuff like that to, to help our forests and everything else. And I'm, I'm not saying that progress and the way that our, our, our world is going isn't a good thing that, you know, you know, I'm not saying it's not a necessity for us to be destroying the, the forest like this. I think that there's ways that we can slow it down. I think that there's ways we can prolong this, that we can give the earth, we can give each other a second chance, you know. Um, I think we oftentimes are so greedy that we forget about what we're doing. Even people who have gardens at home, you know, sometimes when you're young and you just first start a garden, you're like, okay, I'm just going to throw some seeds in or I'm going to plant some seeds with my mom and dad and it's going to work out fine. But then you sit down and you realize after you're older, okay, this pulls this nutrient from the soil. That soil can no longer be grown except these things. So you got to actually learn about it. you got to learn what things you can pull from it, what things you can grow at certain times so that you can keep that soil perfect condition to grow in all the time so you're not harming the earth. Uh, so you don't have to move your garden, so you have to do any, any of that stuff. And that's a fantastic thing to learn. Agricultural uh, and stuff like that. agricultural, uh, cultural in general, um, you know, any of the, the open farming, farming booths where they sell like uh, stuff at the farmer's markets, those are always, and I mean always, going to be important uh, to learn about and everything else. And, okay, I'm just sorry, it looked like my neighbors are coming through. I was going to change the auto settings so you didn't have to hear it if they were. Um, but, so that's something that's always going to be important to me. It's all The earth itself is going to always be important. Uh, people in community. I'm going to sound a bit cynical here, but... I'm not a very social person in the real world. Like, I'm about average, a little under average. Uh, in the sense that I can talk to people, I'm very charismatic, I'm great when it comes to that, but I don't seek out people. But, I also have a very high respect for community. I have a high respect for uh, charity. I have a high respect for people helping other people, finding ways to get stuff done, working towards a common goal. Those are all things that are going to always and forever be important to me, and so... With that being said, that's that's what our channel is going to work towards. We're going to work towards always being able to help someone else, even if you know maybe we're having a tough time or we can't help them. We're going to help other people help them. It's just we're always going to find a way to make it work. We're always going to find a way to get things done. And on top of that, I'm always going to be bringing you guys the newest, greatest content, uh, if at all possible. I have been kind of running on a budget here, running on a paycheck. Oh, that was brutal. He should have he should have just waited the turn and saved that. But if it's possible, I'm always going to be bringing you guys the best and greatest content. Yes, got it. Oh, Jesus, yes, got it. Popcorn jibber armor. Oh yeah, popcorn's not as good, but jibber's good. Um So yeah, I'm going to try to bring you guys the best content. I'm going to have those mile markers. I'm going to have special events going up. I'm going to publicize it more I'm gonna be back on track doing this um, and, and, and I'd like you guys to, to try to remember too I'm a real person I have real problems just like you guys I'm not trying to use that as an excuse or a pity thing I'm trying to say in general that if there's if I don't upload don't panic I'm fine there's just you know maybe there's a family emergency maybe there's a, a friend needed to just sit down and talk for a while and I gotta be there for them and I'm going to do that. Same way you're going to be there for your friends. You're going to be there for your family. Because they always come first. Um, that, that's how it's going to happen. And then you guys are my second family. So if there's not an emergency. If there is nothing that is absolutely necessary to do. I'm always going to be here for you guys first. First and foremost, you guys. Um, and so to me. That is an amazing thing.
Well, only 21. Well. <laughs> but. But yeah, so those are all the things I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be moving. going to be getting this channel revamped, getting everything set up again, getting all this work done. going to be talking to you guys, all these mile markers, all the special things getting done. It's going to be great. You guys are going to love it. And so I think uh, that about wraps up all my rambling. It wraps up everything else. Uh, I did ask you guys the questions of what do you want to see more, what kind of videos, what kind of content, um, what do you prefer, um, commentary, vlogs, etc. Do you want me to just continue doing what I've been doing? Uh, another question is, after this video gets uploaded, tell me your thoughts on this video. Go back and watch an older video uh, and then come back to this one. Do you like the new uh, the new quality? Um, is, it, is it something that's, you know, that, that you thought changed in a very good way? Do you think that I did a, did a good job switching the quality when I did? Or is it something that you don't as, as much care about? Uh, do you like the other version better? Um, and I am probably going to have, I don't. I think I put it in the right side of the screen, if I remember correctly, but it could be in the left. No, it's in the right. I think I put it in the right. Which, oh, wow. Okay, so you can't even see cactus. Uh, here in the right right now, there's a cactus, and he has... Um, 44 out of 80 armor and 200 HP, and he's level 84. So, he's not my target, but he is an enemy, which means when I kill my target, if if they don't kill me first, he'll probably be my next target. Um, so I need to kill my target quickly to be able to kill him, so that uh, Wash, Gent, C, Dasan can kill Creep here. Well, I guess he's killing Cactus. Okay, so if he's killing Cactus, my next target will be him. So that's not bad then. Cactus is going to be the brutal one. I'm hoping he can kill Cactus before I have to kill him. That way I can get everything done that needs to be done very easily and I don't have to really work as hard for it. Um, but yeah, so people, community, uh, mile markers, you know, gemstones, special events, getting things off the ground, me moving, me getting a job here soon. Um, my cat, my cat's pregnant, so probably gonna have some kittens here soon. We're gonna be doing that. Um, okay, so just a bunch of a bunch of little bit of everything. You know, when you actually sit there and think about it, you're like, not a lot of time. That's maybe three hours a day that I had to deal with all that other stuff. You know, minus the job. The job's kind of a daily thing where the hours change. But you know, three hours a day where I'm dealing with all the other stuff. You know, family, friends, all those events, everything else, planning this, editing this. And uh, I do spend a minimum of three hours editing each video. Not all, all not all of them once. Three, three hours a video. Um, now that's that's a lot of times why I do have gaps. Um, sometimes I'll set up them to upload at a certain time or one after another, where I will set up it to upload, you know, five, six videos all at once. And now I know that the the, the way that the software works, sometimes you don't get to see the 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 stuff that you want to see. Okay, let's see if that works. It didn't work as much, but it did give me some things. So I do have a bow and arrow now that I'll be able to use creep, and that should wipe them out. Um, yeah, so three hours out of my day is that. A minimum of three hours of editing, so that's about six hours a day that I'm working with you guys, friends and family. And that means, you know... I'm only have about a half a day to do things that I actually want to go out and do myself. Um, not that I don't want to do this. This is one of my main hobbies. It's something I enjoy. It's something I love. I love building this community with you guys. Um, but yeah, and I know it seems like I'm always going back, correcting myself. Like, yeah, I'm somehow afraid of what you guys are going to say or how you think. And I mean, to a degree, that's true. But that's that's not the only reason. I I'm just trying to be as politically correct as possible in this in this situation and scenario, at least. Um, so you guys have the best understanding of what I'm talking about. Blah, 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 blah. I am not going to be able to hit him with what I wanted to hit him with. So we are going to yin yang yong because I've never seen it before. What the hell is that? Never seen that before. Uh, 
Um, so yeah, just been getting a lot of a lot of shit done, getting everything set up. But to summarize, all that shit's gonna happen. You can you know rewind a little bit if you if you want, or I might put some stuff in the description. I'll probably put some stuff in the description, um, just to make it easier on you guys. But yeah, all that stuff's gonna happen. However, we're gonna be back on a regular schedule. It's gonna be wonderful. You guys are gonna get some good shit, some good content. Um, and so, so that's that. Now, on the topic of games and stuff, yeah, on the topic of games and stuff, I already told you before. Pick some things out. Tell me what you want. Tell me your uh, your your feelings, your aspirations, your hopes, your dreams, things you want to see. I would go for that box normally because it's fantastically worth it. However, killing him is my number one priority. Now I should be able to orbit them next and it should wipe them out completely. And gone. GG. Rip. Alright, now Cactus, I believe, is aiming for me. And Creep's aiming for Cactus now. Uh, because my target hasn't changed. Now, if, the, if this game is confusing to you guys at first about how everything works, how the weapons work, uh, the layout, the goal is simply just to be the last one standing in this game mode. Um, however, you can't do damage to anyone else except for your target. And your target switches depending on who you kill and win. So bam, dead. Now my new target should be Cactus. Yep, see? So now it's me versus Cactus. And I have a Spiker, Digger Stone, and Battering Ram. Battering Ram for long distance, bad idea. Spiker tends to go in its own direction, so bad idea. Stone doesn't do enough damage, so I think my next weapon will be a Digger. Um, now I do have a Supply Drop and two Teleports, but those items are super rare, um, at least when you're this high up in the game, so I'm going to try not to use them. So there we go. We hit him with that. We're going to do some major damage. There's 60 damage done. So right now, we're at 86 health, and he is at 164. So we need to brutally hurt him right now. I mean, um, and I think kittens is the best way to hurt him. Yeah, so there's 33, we got some more armor, we got a sweeper, double breaker, we're doing good, we're doing good. Okay, so now we have 70, 80, 90, 100, we have 106 health, and he is down to 131. So we are almost on his level again. Oh, damn, <laughs> he just wiped us out in like one blow there. Um... We're going to try for that, that boomerang, and we're going to go high on this in hopes that it'll arc down. Yes! Okay. I have never been really good with the boomerang, but there's 50 damage. We needed that. 81 to 70, 6, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81. Oh, wow. So 81 to 81, if I'm not mistaken. So this is literally a tied game right now. But either one of us can crit for 100 or crit for even as low as 80 and kill each other. And he's going to go for that portal, portal shot. Um, he should be able to hit me at least on the right hand side Nope, he missed okay, so if I do this right this could be it this could be game over It's too low and it art motherfucker Wow sound like Samuel L. Jackson there with all those motherfuckers, but Please tell me is that pinata? Okay, no, it's the airstrike. Oh, thank God, because Pinata arcs, and he could have hit me with that. But let's see. We have... We're going to go for a sweeper, and we're going to try to do a direct hit. We missed. We hit too low. Um, but I think he knows this, so...
I think we're gonna banana him next. If we can get down this hill, we can banana him. Oh god. Oh, he smorgasbord us. Oh Jesus, there's 36. There's 18 damage. 63 to 36. Uh, if you have, uh, I don't even remember what it's called, and it doesn't matter. This is GG. This is game over right here. Oh, wow. That's six health. Oh, but fam. Woo! -hoo! This is it, ladies and gentlemen. If he hits me 4 6, bam, there it is. Alright, so that's that, and I think that's going to be called wraps. So if you guys like this video, uh, like and subscribe for more. Um, and as always, you know, if you hit that little gear icon and switch to the bell to notifications, you're never going to miss a video. Um, I'm going to have more content like this, probably doing a lot more Shell Shock. Uh, might be doing some Rust and some other Steam games updates right now. Um, if you can, give Cactus, WaspGen, uh, Sean C12121, and everyone else that uh, has been in this, and I'll scroll real quick here, Kokomoto, Badminton, or no, Bad Mat, Mantle, Bite, Pain, give all them, give all them a shout out, uh, tell, them, tell them they were good sports, they kicked my ass a little bit, uh, I actually got it royally handed to me there, um, but yeah, so I'll see you guys all in the next video, uh, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good day.